Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video regarding the CVP four wheel disc brake conversion kit again. Um, so I talked a while ago about how with the 61 to 64, since it has the stupid pressure switch on the brake master, um, when you go to like from factory, when you go to convert your brakes, you have to move it off of the master, just put it into a T that's in line. And so it just picks up the pressure off of the brake line. So I used the original, hydraulic brake pressure switch. I quickly discovered that the factory one really only is designed to handle the hydraulic pressure of drums, which is like six or 700 PSI, not the nearly 2000 PSI the disc experiences. So I found a Delco one that works. Um, I was using that for a couple of weeks and now it has also died. Um, so I suspect that Delco one just doesn't handle the hydraulic pressure that disc brakes generate. So what I've done is I'm going to a, I've gone to a style of switch, not dissimilar uh, to a modern vehicle. So right now, let me turn my light on. I'm kind of just doing a proof of concept. So right now I just took a piece of sheet metal, bent it up. So it sits underneath the uh, neutral safety switch. See, so there's some sheet metal and then I just have it on a micro switch. So now, see, so it just rides on the arm of the brake pedal. So the thing that's nice about that too is that you guys with 61, 64s will probably realize as well is that when you first are touching the brakes, your brake lights don't come on. You actually have to start pushing and applying pressure to get that brake light switch to come on, which for me is kind of annoying because when I'm just starting to slow down a little bit, just regular driving even, I like to just touch my brake pedal just to turn my brake lights on before I start decelerating, especially when I have other old cars behind me, especially like in a cruise. And if the old car behind me, I know maybe doesn't necessarily have that great of brakes. So I kind of get nervous about, you know, someone like that behind me. This way I can kind of put on my brake lights before I really get into any sort of braking. So, and what I've done, all you have to do is I've just fabbed up a little adapter right now because I didn't want to modify <clears throat> any of the factory wiring. So what I've got going on, this green wire here that goes into the column, this is actually the signal wire for the brake lights. So when you put 12 volts to that wire that turns on your brake lights, you retain your factory brake lights um, wiring harness. So what I did was this, there's a factory bullet connector. So I just have a bullet connector into just a, you know, a regular style bullet connector in there and I just have it taped up so it's don't have to worry about it coming apart and then it's adapted and then I go to blade connectors for the micro switch so this is just version one I've already got version two in the works but I wanted to share this with you I actually bought a proper AC Delco brake light switch um, that I'm going to convert to it'll be here I think tomorrow or possibly Monday uh, coming from Amazon or whatever it was like Twelve dollars or something like that and the only reason is because i don't know what the endurance is of a switch like this um like i know they're good for you know intermittent use but when there's a lot of use even though i mean the brake lights only draw 600 milliamps there's no reason why the brake light switch shouldn't last you know for a long period of time but still over the life of you know driving it probably is a fair bit of wear plus the fact that this switch the clicking is annoying Right, so every time you step on the brakes, having to listen to that click, that's going to drive me freaking batty. So I went to, like I said, the Delco switch. It'll be silent. It'll be a little more adjustable. I can kind of dial it in a little bit more. And I know it's engineered for, you know, millions of cycles over its life. Um, and it just uses regular blade connectors similar to what this switch has. Uh, and then what I did was the other side of the switch where the constant power is coming from. I just ran a line over to where the fuse fuses or not fuses breakers are in the passenger foot well i just hooked it right to the original breaker where the brake lights are originally so there's one i believe it was a thicker yellow wire with a red stripe um, and that's actually just the power wire that goes to the factory brake light switch so i just uh, threw this on there ran it over i have a loom that runs from my breaker panel you can kind of see it there under my dash so i have a couple of different uh, accessories that are run through that loom so i just added a new wire for that so now it's still getting it's 12 volts off of the exact same breaker as a factory switch and then it's going back into the original factory um wire into the column uh so like i said just got to do the delco switch and then i'll be completely converted and don't have to deal with those stupid hydraulic switches anymore so cheers <laughs> 